Last July, we said, you know what? We should build a dream stream. We've got everything marked out. I wanna take you guys on the journey of laying this out with Laura. I wanna draw this whole thing up so you guys can really understand the design. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Oh my God, Laura, I can't believe it's almost been a year, right? Like Close. a few more months, yep. right? So yep. we were out here last July. It was a hundred-ish. Sweltering. <laughs> yeah. And we built an unbelievable pond. I've been so excited to come back and see it. Mm -hmm. But with all the stuff that's been on your channel, I feel like I've already seen the pathway. I've already seen the fire pit and everything else. It looks amazing. And this summer it. it's going to look even better. Mm -hmm. But we're about to do something even more fun. I'm so excited about this. Last July we said, you know what? We should build a dream stream. And so we've been calling it a dream stream. Mm -hmm. And then it really became a dream stream because I started dreaming about it the other night and, and have all these different ideas. And as soon as I got here, I noticed a tree was missing. Mm -hmm. right? So you guys big moved one. a big yeah. tree uh -huh. somewhere else, which then allowed a whole lot more creativity to happen. We've got everything marked out. I want to take you guys kind of on the journey of laying this out with Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about some of the bridges, talk about why we're making it so wide in certain areas, talk about maybe some of the fun things that we can do when we make a stream wide. And then also talk about some ideas that you're going to be joining us with uh, in, I think it's July, July yeah. 20th or something. Yeah. Right? Yes. Pond tour. Yes. So we have a pond tour and you're gonna come see some of the most amazing backyards, which is kind of dangerous. Cause I'll have a list. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start a list of everything I love. Yeah, that's the whole point of it is to inspire, educate, and kind of motivate people to do this in their backyard. So let me show you what I've laid out. You ready? Yes. All right, come on guys. You know, well, I've actually walked you through this once already. Do you think you could walk everybody yes. through? Awesome. Yes, let's I do. do. It, okay. Let's do it that way. So the original walkway right here, and I don't know, what do you think? Three feet, yep. maybe yep. sub three feet right here. So you're walking through, you've got a nice little berm here on this side, but we wanted to create a pathway, right? Very this good. This area because we've got, uh, with the addition of a new property behind us, which we did not own last year when you guys were out here, yep. but we do now. I think your ideas on how to incorporate that in with this, the dream stream, yep. it's gonna make it all feel like one. So we're thinking a couple of stairs right yep. here that will mimic the stairs over there on the other side. Yep. We happen to buy extra oh, stones perfect. last year. So we have the stairs already. So we'll pop those in right here. So you'll come up here. We'll kind of do a soft turn yep. right, right through here and the pathway will gradually drop down right in this area. And if you can see these two paint lines right here this is a bridge yep a low profile bridge you know what and as i'm looking at it now because we have like a main bridge over there which we're going to get to in a second maybe what we do here because this is more of like the kids pathway to get to kid land mm -hmm. what if we do stepping stones love it awesome yes so that'd, be, that'd be so <laughs> awesome well and you can see here too how the lines flare into the existing that's the wetlands right in there yep uh, in the existing pond. <laughs> I see the kids are floating some blooms in there. <laughs> I just noticed that. Anyway, um, so last year, can you explain what you guys did with the liner? Yeah, so on this end? what we did over here, we kind of had the idea that we were gonna do this dream stream back up through this space. So we, at, we left a bunch of liner rolled up buried in here. It's actually underneath that rock. So we'll cool. pull this rock out, pull these rocks out on the edge, expose that other liner. Then we're gonna seam on to this liner right here. And really it's not, it's gonna be more of an extension of the pond. It's what we call a deep stream. So the fish that you can see kind of milling around over there will actually be able to come swim up through this, get into this stream, and then it'll get deeper and deeper as we get back into there. So it's really more of like a long meandering pond. Yeah. Right? Yes. Uh, or, a, or a stream with various depths throughout the whole thing. So. So the stream cruises this way and actually widens and you can see it better from the other side. So right. let's go this way. Well, the pathway, walking path, will go through here. There's a, I've got my chores. Yeah. <laughs> my chore list. i got to move this crab apple. Yep. Um, but it'll tuck around the back side of this blue spruce, which I love that idea, Brian, that you wanted to create some mystery back in here. Yep. And this is where the pathway will fork. So you can either go off onto the right hand side and go to play central uh -huh. or you take a left and you follow the walking path which uh, you were talking about how this maple tree right here this was the sanctuary the shade sanctuary. <laughs> well, it was 100 plus degrees yeah it right? was so hot when we were putting in that pond and you guys were doing so much digging and so, <laughs> oh my goodness anyway it's very shaded and nice and uh, kind of serene back in here so putting maybe a seating or bench or something oh it's in gonna there be great awesome uh, but the walkway will go around that and the stream comes in and kind of hugs the walkway right here 
Um, but if you look in this way, I see that maybe Benjamin's <laughs> added. I love it though. <laughs> Benjamin's turned into a little pond designer. Yeah, so this is the beauty of painting <laughs> lines. You can erase things and Benjamin was having such a ball. Oh, you were, he's doing such a good you job. You were so nice to <laughs> include him in that step. But you can see right in here, this is the actual island yep. inside of like a 12 foot stream. Yeah, it's a super wide stream. And so what we talked about in the beginning was if we can open, I was having a hard time figuring out like the curves and which way they would go. And so we just opened up the stream, which allowed for a big island here. And I'm not sure what we'll do. I'm thinking it might be a rock with some aquatic plants. It, we might be inspired to leave it terrestrial. Mm -hmm. Maybe your viewers can vote on it. Oh, hey, and that's if, a good, great idea. And uh, yes. if they want a planting island, we'll do a planting island. If they want a rock island, we'll do a rock island. Sounds like, great to me. Yeah. And then on this side, can you explain like the big, so you won't see this side of the stream from here. This nope. will all be built up and planted, but you will see it from the walkway over here. So you were thinking of building this up with bigger stones and a log. Yeah, this will be great. So we really want to try to take that pathway out of play from this side. So you're not paying attention to this pathway and this pathway because they're just kind of relatively close to each other. So right where Laura is at, if we can build soil up to about where her knees are at, in there and then just face this with either a giant log maybe a couple big rocks so it looks like the stream has literally eroded away the earth leaving back behind some giant boulders that just couldn't move and cut this bank out before it moved back that way and down into the pond that's oh. exactly what I want for this area too because it makes me feel well one I feel like this pond has always been here now at this point and it makes me feel like we're up in the hills yes. just outside of you know our area and that's what I love I just I, it feels so natural so the fact that you think about those things when I thought dream stream I just thought a stream this wide that's just like <laughs> you know the whole distance it's the same width but seeing all the different like how it undulates and how you know you've thought of all these different things to make it look like it actually came out of well, year, years of experience. I've, I've always said uh, I'm not uh, like that. I'm that much better at building ponds. I've just had the opportunity to screw a bunch of them up <laughs> before I've gotten to your yard. We so. <laughs>here with yep. the walkway back to the walkway so we're cruising on the walkway and then you can see right here it goes back over the stream it's quite wide right here too like I don't know seven feet or so mm -hmm. um, and so this one will be uh, that one will be stepping stones through the water and this one will be a low profile bridge we'll either do a big stone slab Ooh, like or build something too. build something flat out of wood but mm -hmm. not like a big curved yeah bridge yeah I yep. like that um, so if you look this direction, this is the way the water, this is upstream. Yep. This is the way the water will go. Um, and you can see right in here, there'll be a low drop, like a low waterfall, yep. just to create some movement. Because if you look straight in front of me, that's where the Hartley is. And so there's gonna be another walkway that opens up right where Colleen and Chris are, yeah. <laughs> right there. There'll be another walkway, the hose won't be there, but you'll be able to see this right yep. here. You'll see that drop. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> So Brian is standing straight. There's in front. the entrance, pathway, waterfall. All the way to a waterfall over here. Yeah. And I think that's gonna be so nice because having that little bit of movement and the interest from the corner of the bridge, which you will see, it will make you wanna come back here. Yeah. You wanna be like, what the heck is back there? I need to go check that out. Oh my gosh, you should be a pond builder. Oh, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> running a lot through this. I don't know that you would want me to design <laughs> any ponds. But the water will continue back. You can see the line here. And then this is going to be kind of like, uh, we'll see how it feels when we get to it. Yep. But there'll be a huge berm. It'll go back quite a distance because we want it to look like the berms in this area were all naturally built up. So what are you thinking, Mike? Four feet high, I just want it to be taller than the other one. So four feet. Yep, yeah, so four <laughs> feet, like up in here. Yeah, and so there'll be another waterfall right here, which mm -hmm. will create more movement. And you can see it from how, what's the angle? Yes, 170 degrees yeah. is my magic number. So you'll be able to see it from a good portion of this area. And then right to the right-hand side, this area will also have some berm, some bermage. Well, Laura, I think yeah. the best part about this, like the stream is gonna look amazing. We're gonna bring back the dream team yes. to build all this. So the same team that was out here before, we might have a couple extra people because it's a lot of work but this is gonna give you a lot of opportunities to do some creative oh. plantings, like a lot. 
And I was just talking with Colleen in front of the pond earlier about how excited I am to work with more aquatic plants and how, <laughs> I mean, just a, it's a whole new world for yeah, me. Yeah, so we'll make sure we create some different spots. Um, there's even some like lilies that we can get down in that island area. So I think on one side of the island, we'll go a little deeper. One awesome. side will go really shallow. Uh -huh. uh, I really want the whole thing to be interactive for the kids. So I picture the kids like hiking up through the stream mm -hmm. all the time. Um, frogs and dragonflies, the mm -hmm. island, like it's just going to be great. It's going to be brimming awesome. with energy. I love it. Well, Laura, I think you did a great job explaining the whole layout. Well, there. <laughs> it's so almost much. as if you've done it before. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Well, I've been so excited to come out here. Um, Laura, her husband, Aaron are fantastic. Their kids are incredible. Ben was helping me mark out the whole pond. He's definitely a future pond designer in the making. And I think Laura is like right behind them. But uh, this is gonna be fun. I wanna draw this whole thing up so you guys can really understand the design. I know it's hard to visualize it with just the paint on the ground, but the way we always lay out a pond for our customers back home in the Chicagoland area is we use marking paint because it allows them to actually feel the space. All right guys, I'm obviously back from Laura's house. Uh, about to sit down and start doing more of that formal sketch for her. I promised you guys I was gonna do it. I promised her I was gonna do it. I want you guys to see in color what a formal design looks like. It's not something I prefer to do. As I said before, when I was out at Laura's house, what I really prefer to do is take my can of upside down marking paint and mark out the entire stream and everything else. But this one's gonna be for you to decide. Which one do you prefer to have? Is it the drawing or the, the marking paint? All right, guys, the very first thing I like to do when um, laying out the drawing is come up with my graph paper. There's so many other ways to do a drawing. There's so many different apps out there that help you do these drawings. I am pretty old school. This is just the way I was self-taught. Uh, colored pencils, some markers. Uh, for me, it's just faster to do it this way than to learn how to do it off the computer. Uh, one of the apps I do use though to help me cheat and move through things a little faster, it's uh, this one right here called uh, G Land GPS Field and Area Measure. Here's a little bit how it works. You can type in um, an address up here at search. So you can type in the place you wanna go, the latitude, the longitude, all that kind of stuff right down in here. I've already got that done. This is uh, Laura's property over here. Here's where it gets a little tricky. So the hardest thing for me to do is to try to locate existing features on a giant piece of property, especially when you're talking about trees and everything else, where fences are, where all that stuff is, if you don't have something to work off of. So the first thing I did is I came over here and I know this barn right over in this area here. And so if you look at this, I can come in here, I hit add, add measure. This little bullseye thing will come in here. I hit plus, I can drag this thing down and it'll tell me that the outside edge of this barn is approximately 30 feet uh, wide from, from top to bottom. Once I've got that, I translate that to my piece of graph paper. I love the graph paper because I can um, scale everything out. In this case, every quarter inch is two feet or an inch is eight feet. So I'm gonna use that scale for this, for this drawing. I've got the barn on here. Now, once I've got the barn, I can also come up here to like this edge, come up here and I love that this mulched area, which is like all of this brown stuff, like in through here is all very distinct. So if I come up here, this is their old property line. Now they've bought this property back over in here with the basketball court here. I believe there's a swing set now kind of in this space over here, but um, I could take all of this and use this as reference point. So I come up here and from the corner of the barn to the edge of the old property line, it says it's approximately 18 feet. So then from this corner here, I'll measure up 18 feet and get an idea off of that. Then the next giant reference point I see would be from that corner all the way to the corner of the existing basketball court. 
Here it says that's uh, approximately 95 feet. So from here to the basketball court at one inch equals eight feet. I'll measure over 95 feet. From that point, I can hit add another measure and then see how wide the actual basketball court is. It says it's approximately 58 feet. So then I'll make sure I have a 58 foot basketball court here. And now I've got some reference points to kind of work off of. If I wanna clear all that stuff off, I just hit this back arrow and I can come over here and off the basketball court because it's the closest to the pond. Start figuring out kind of where the pond, kind of where the pond is at. And I usually just try to get everything kind of like at right angles, parallel or perpendicular off of some other point. And so the edge of the pond or the wetland back over here, the existing pond says it's about 25 feet. Once I've gotten all that stuff located, then I kind of come in and I lightly pencil everything in. Then I start coming in with some colored pencils and or markers. Um, I often like to start with the water feature. I'm even gonna start drawing in some of these boulders on the pond because the boulders on the pond are very distinct. After I do the boulders, um, I like to do the water. Uh, sometimes I do the water with marker. Sometimes I like to do it in colored pencil. It just depends on my mood. It also depends on the time I have. After I've gotten the boulders and like my kind of my hardscapes done, my boulders, my pathways, my patios and all that stuff colored in, then I start layering in the plants. And I like to always start with the smaller plants first and then move into the larger plants. So everything's layered just like you would see it if you were looking down from an airplane. Um, you'll see the canopy of the tree kind of overlapping maybe some different perennials and stuff underneath or the canopy of a tree hanging over an existing pond. But at this point, you guys just buckle in. I'm gonna start coloring this thing in and uh, we'll go from there. to show you guys all this stuff. This is gonna be a fun, fun journey. Tell me what your favorite part of this entire experience was. Thanks guys, bye.